Let's pick up the post parade. Number one is Lawrence Norton. And uh, Daryl Leitke will be in the bike. And the trainer is Dave Batten. This horse is part of an entry with uh, Tarpa Rota, who we will see in a minute. Roran Snorton is a horse that uh, is based in Canada, and he has raced quite well. He's won uh, about $38,000 this year, uh, generally placed. It seems like he wins most of his money finishing in the money in races. Uh, the other horse, uh, also a strong part of that entry, a couple of good horses here. Uh, Bill O'Donnell, who is uh, driving the other half of the entry, has certainly had a very good day. It's, uh, this entry should be interesting to watch in this race. Well, the other half of that entry indeed is 1A and that is Tarport and Myrtle you see right there in the middle and Bill O'Donnell who has already won four races today Dave Batten is the trainer and again Dave Davies is the owner of both the 1 and 1A and probably as the horses get ready for this race, we'll have to be looking at some very outstanding horses. These are definitely locally based ones. We're also going to see a couple of horses who have raced elsewhere and have been done, doing a little bit of shipping here. This is Bill O'Donnell, who uh, certainly has showed the folks at Northlands Park uh, uh, about driving today. What an outstanding driver he is. He has certainly proven it today. Um, Let's pick up the favorite now, the number two horse, and there is Monkey Wrench. you got to love the name, as Derek Wilson is not only the driver, but the trainer as well, and it's owned by the Broad uh, Broadroom uh, Stable area right here in uh, the Calgary area. And Monkey Ranch is a horse who is a major winner and has been throughout his racing career. This is a five-year-old horse uh, who more than earns his keep, so Monkey Ranch uh, rightly among the favorites in the race today. No. They, the number two post position, but the number three horse will be Salute Hanover, and Mickey McNichol, who comes out of the Bronx in New York, is the driver trainer. And Salute Hanover is an extremely fast horse. He is the odds-on favorite, and rightly so. He uh, paced himself a 52-2 and two mile at the Meadowlands on Hamiltonian Day. Did not win that race, but boy, could have won a race virtually anywhere else that day. Post position number three belongs to the four horse, and that'll be flying good. Uh, Rene Poulin will be the driver, and we'll see what this uh, Canadian horse can do here. And he hasn't been able to do much this year, only one win in his seven starts, but he was a big winner as a younger horse at three and four. Post position number four belongs to number five horse, it's Pollution. And, of course, the veteran, a 52-year-old Buddy Gilmore, will be on the bike, trained by Mike Brady. And uh, Pollution is a mare. You don't see that many pacing mares try to compete against the male horses. Trotting fillies and mares do a little bit better, but Pollution has certainly got a good driver, and Buddy Gilmore, who's done well today as well. Gary McQuaid will be in the bike behind the number six horse in the sixth post position. That'll be Cammy Hanover. Cammy Hanover is trained by Rod Campbell, owned by Rod Campbell. Also Gary Hackney, uh, Jim Martin, and Lois Mitchell. And she is coming off a good win here at this track in which she uh, finished in front of both Flying Good and Pollution. So we will watch her in this race closely too. And the number seven horse finally is Peter Wolf. John Campbell will be in the bike and Brett Grandy is the trainer. You see him coming up. The gate is in motion. This is the eighth race, a $20,000 invitational. Some of the top Canadian horses in their fall races here at the Northlands are ready to see what they can do about coming up with a victory here this afternoon in one of the top races here at the Northlands in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Larry Ross, our track announcer, is the man who will be calling the races throughout the afternoon. Let's go to him for the call of the eighth race. They're heading around the turn into the back stretch, coming up on the fair start pole uh, as they uh, enter the uh, top of the back stretch. Uh, it's uh, very cloudy, windy, and it's cool today, so I don't think it'll be too quick. They're entering the back stretch. I think you can expect a mile in somewhere about a minute 58 seconds this afternoon. And they're off the pace. From the outside, Roran Storton uh, moving quickly to the front. Monkey Ranch down to the inside. Then it's Salute Hanover third. Uh, flying Good is fourth as they head uh, into the first turn. Roran Storton with the lead as they come around the turn. Monkey Ranch is second to Mike's side of the rail. Then it's uh, Salute Hanover back uh, third. Uh, flying Good is fourth. Uh, then uh, Pollution uh, is fifth. Canon Hanover is sixth. And as they come around the turn, Peter Wolf seventh. And coming up in the quarter mile at the quarter pole 29. Four fifths as they come down past the grandstand. Roran Storton down on the inside and moving quickly from the outside to take the lead is Salute Hanover as they head to the clubhouse turn. Salute Hanover the leader now. Then Roran Storton is second. Monkey Ranch is third. And then Flying Good is fourth. Then it's uh, Pollution back fifth. Cammy Hanover down on the inside. Then uh, Peter Wolf on the outside as they round the turn. Tarport Myrtle trails. 
Coming up on the half mile, it's Salute Hanover at the half, 58 and four fifths as they head to into the back stretch. Salute Hanover with the lead. Monkey Wrench moves to the outside as they head down the back stretch. Ferrari and Snorton now third along the rail. Fine Good is fourth on the inside. Pollution moves outside fifth. Candy Hanover sixth along the rail. As they head on down the back stretch, Monkey Wrench has moved up on the outside, uh, alongside the rail. Salute Hanover as they near the three quarter mile. Then it's Ryan Snorton down on the inside as they come around the turn. Coming by the three quarters, uh, Salute Hanover the leader. Three quarter mile, a minute 29 as they round the turn. It's Salute Hanover from the inside, Monkey Wrench from the outside. Ryan Snorton's third on the rail. Then it's Flying Good next, Pollution in the middle. At the head of the stretch, they're driving toward the finish. And on the inside, Salute Hanover. Here comes Monkey Wrench from the outside. As they come down the stretch to the finish, Monkey Wrench gaining the lead. And Salute Hanover. Candy Hanover closing ground rapidly on the inside, coming to the finish. Here they'll be close. And here they are. Looks like Candy Hanover from the inside charged up along the rail. It opened up coming down the stretch, and I would uh, think Candy will be the winner in the uh, photo finish. The mile, the time of 1 minute 58 and 3 fifth seconds. Thank you, Larry Ross. Well, he called that time pretty well at 1.58 and 3. And what a trip by Cammy Hanover. Gary McQuaid came on the rail strong. It looked like it was Monkey Wrench. Salute Hanover all the way. But watch as Cammy Hanover on the rail here, Sharon, really comes on strong. Well, Cammy Hanover, one of the three mares in the race, certainly did. And uh, her driver, Gary McQuaid, urging her. And again, he's not hitting her. Don't think that she's being abused here. He's just keeping her, uh, her mind on her business. And... Uh, as she, uh, an outstanding uh, finish by this mare. So there she goes, slipping through, getting a little tight there. He was lucky to have the room. Could have uh, could have been a bad situation for him, but he did get through, and just in time, a neck winner. Cammy Hanover, unofficial. Good, good pace by this, this nice mare. Well, they expected quite a run here, and you see with the one-mile pace, the unofficial time, 158 and 3, Cammy Hanover once again in the bike. Coming on strong was uh, Gary McQuaid, and as it was a run down the stretch with Salute Hanover and Monkey Ranch, but again, Cammy Hanover comes over to win the eighth race here at the Northlands in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada.